Hey guys, it's Margaret and Anya. <laughs> and we are here to share with you some of the goodies that we picked up today when we went to a community garage sale and picked up some stuff. So we're going to share with you. I'm sharing just part of it. I'll probably do the rest of it later since we're both going to share. So anyway, you want to go first? Okay, sure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before, we, um, before we start, I forgot. I need to say, at the end of the, after we're done with our haul, I'm going to, we're going to do the drawing for the, the jewelry jar giveaway. I had to, I, I just want to say I was overwhelmed with the support. I mean, it was. I, I thought, you know what, I, I was just inching towards 6,000 and I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ask. Maybe I'll get a couple more, you know, from our, some of our eyelet friends. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to go say, hey, I could use a little bump, you know, to get me over that 6,000. I need like 12 <laughs> more. And, um, and it was, the response was just overwhelming. So I, I was so really, really touched um, and also a little scared because <laughs> I was right. the, the, the giveaway and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to break the the name picker. I don't know if it holds that many names. So I'm pretty <laughs> excited. Um, so we'll do that drawing. And then also, as you're watching, Angie M. I, I thought Angie M was Angie Martin. And so I told Angie that she won. And she's like, no, I'm not Angie M on YouTube. I'm thrifty. No. Treasured Vintage, right? Treasured Vintage, yeah. And so she said, I don't know who Angie M is. So Angie M, if you're watching, contact me. Let me know. Because the bracelet's supposed to go to you, there was a big mix-up. Anyway, so <laughs> let me know. And if I, but then if I don't hear from Angie M in like a week, because maybe it's some somebody else, you know, and then I'm gonna have to just redraw, you know. I don't know so, what else to do. And how many entries were there for the jewelry jar? Oh my gosh! I'm gonna screen share. I'll show you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> here, here are like over a hundred. Oh yeah, well over. <laughs> So this, it, this is my Google Doc. So there's one full page, two full page, three full page, four full page, four, and then almost five full pages of names. How many names to a page? Like 25? Uh, oh, boy, let's count. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So yeah, probably like 25 to a page. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy. Jeff says only his entry counts. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Um, so anyway, but uh, so what we're going to do is I'll, I'll we'll do the spin at the end, and then I was telling Tanya earlier what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to empty it. I have a gallon bag here that I'm going to seal it up in because I'll just dump it right in on camera so nobody sees me. I know I'm not cherry picking out of it or anything because I'm thinking, what if I ship this and then a glass breaks and then you're like trying to pick glass out of the jewelry and how horrible would that be? Yeah. So we'll dump it in the bag on the camera. Okay, okay, so you okay. you go first. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just noticed this. He's even got little whiskers. Okay, so this is a gem shore, I guess like a little collectible statue figure type thing. And it's the cat, and it's called Evangeline. And I paid $2 for this one, I think. And it's going for... Uh, I want to say there was one that sold for 20 and it was new. So I was thinking maybe I might get maybe about 15 for mine. I don't know. We'll see on eBay. Cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, let me see if I can switchy share. Okay. So I'm going to share mine too because I picked up two of those from the same garage sale. And which the lady charged us what, like $2 each, right? Yeah. yeah. She charged me two, $2, $2. And so I'm going to screen share the first. Mine are from Disney. And one of them is uh, Julie Marie from Aristocats. Cute. Arista yeah. And then this one is um, Bueno Figaro from uh, Pinocchio. And this Aww. is the surprise winner, by the way. I was shocked. All right. So oh, let's really? See. Yes. I was surprised. All right. Let's see. So let me get back over here. I'm screen sharing. Not that, not that, not, not that. I'm trying to find. Okay. So Julie Marie. So here's Julie Marie. She was selling, these are sold, you know, 22 bucks, 26 bucks with the box. So I'm thinking, you know, around the $20 mark for her. But then check out Figaro over here. Look at him. Whoa. 61, 75, 84. These are sold. Wow. I know. And so when I, because the first one I pulled it up, it was not the sold. And I was like, what? Um, okay. <laughs> and look how many watchers they've got. Holy free holies, right? Yeah, yeah that's, that's a lot, lot of watcher. watcher. Yeah, so that, that was a huge, huge surprise for me. So 
Not too bad, eh? It's not too not bad. bad. Right? Okay, you go next. Okay, um, so I have another one. I picked up the pineapple. I know. I was like, if you don't get that pineapple, I'm getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I paid five for this one. And it looks like I was looking at it, and it almost looks like a little Amish, like a little carriage there with the little guy, and he's got his little black hat on. Yeah. Um, and it's called Welcome All. But I was disappointed. They're not really going for that much. Um, what did I write down? Uh, maybe 35 on eBay. But I did look, since there's a barcode, I did look on um, Amazon, and there's none available, but the sales rank is like $3 million. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, no, um, 30, I mean, you paid five, 35 That would still be a nice $25 profit or so, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I'm going to put it on an eBay. <laughs> I think. And then I was, yeah. when you got it, I was like, it hits so many different ca uh, collectors. Like, there are people that collect quilty stuff. There are people that collect pineapples you know yes so, and I paid yeah. five for it uh, Mary's asking <laughs> yeah okay my turn right yes okay so next I got this Stein and the reason that I got it these look like conquistadors or something on it you know like explorers or something I paid three dollars for it and it is made in Western Germany and then Actually, this one's not as, uh, as big of a wow as I was hoping it would be. So I'm going to screen share for that real quick. Screen share again. <laughs> Here it comes. Let me close out of this one and that one. Oh, no. We're coming back to that one. Don't look at that yet. So <laughs> these are some souls, um, and they're not amazing, which is kind of a, of a bummer, you know. But I don't but know. Go on. Is there, is there one just like yours? There is one like mine, but it is not sold yet. So the one that's like mine is they have it listed at 30 bucks so i'm gonna probably go with that because yeah. i think mine is way more awesome than some of these like clear etched ones <laughs> i just do you know i wouldn't mind right <laughs> so yeah i'll probably put that that price on it about the 30 dollar mark let me stop screen sharing yeah okay all right <laughs> your turn okay so i picked up this super bowl patriots hat and I paid one dollar for it and I looked up online and one can you hear me I can hear you okay one just like it new sold for $39.99 so mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe I could ask about $24.99 yeah and let, let's talk about something I noticed that somebody recently commented on one of my videos I guess because I end all my pricing in 99 and he, he was like, well, why don't you just say 10? Or why don't you just say 15? But isn't that like some kind of marketing strategy? If you say 4 dollars then the person feels like they're getting a better deal, right? They're thinking in their head, I'm only paying like 4 bucks for this. Do you see what yeah. I'm saying? Do you do that? Yeah, yeah I do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things. I know. Right? Because right? that's what I said. I was going to put 24 What did I say? $12.99? I don't remember. I don't even remember. Okay, $29.99. <laughs> so my next one is one of the one of them I got with when I was out with you today. And then the other one I picked up at Goodwill. And it's Vera Bradley. And I just want to have a little chat about Vera Bradley today. So <laughs> this was, I mean, it's in brand new condition. This little Vera Bradley ID pouch keychain thingy. And then this I paid 50 cents for at a garage sale. And then this one I picked up at Goodwill, I paid two bucks for, and it's in fair condition. It's a little roll up one but i guess this is this is the, what i'm getting at here is i guess you got to know which patterns are really worth something right you know, i'm learning that i thought oh yay vera bradley so i'm going to show you what i what i pulled up and my disappointment and my plan <laughs> <laughs> all right so here we go let me find vera bradley that's that one so here's the vera bradley the roll-up one and I found one that sold for fourteen seventy five, which is cool, and sixteen bucks. But some of them were not quite as good. Well, look now they're looking better. <laughs> that one. Ooh. Um. So yeah, the roll up one might do okay, but look here, seven twenty five. It just depends on the pattern, is what I'm seeing. You know, ten fifty. Right. And then the little. Oh, where's my little one? Oh, here it is over here. So then this one. Look at this. Like they're going for like four twenty five, even brand new with tags. Two twenty-five. Yeah. Like, oh, forget about it. You know. So, I had no idea they could go for so cheap. Yeah. No, me either. I mean, thank heavens I pay fifty cents, but 
I think knowing that the, and I have some other Vera Bradley's too, knowing the pattern, and I, and I think the blue ones tend to do better from what okay. I'm saying. But this one may end up going on like a local garage sale site for five bucks or something like that. Yeah, but that's a pretty pattern. I'm surprised. Yeah, and it's like brand new. So look at the way my voice sounds like brand new. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. It's a steal. <laughs> Um, I have two Vera Bradley purses I bought at the thrift store um, last week, and I still need to get them listed. I think I paid like six for one and maybe seven for the other. Nice. But I'm hoping to at least, you know, double my money, get my money back at least after listening to what you said. <laughs> yeah. I, I Yeah. Okay. Um, you ready? I'm ready. Okay. So I got these for 50 cents, these little Campbell's soup figurines. Let me take them out of the baggie. But they were just 50 cents and they were super cute. And they almost look kind of vintage to me. Oh yeah, they do. They're cute. Yeah. But when, when I looked online, they're, they're only selling for like $10 on eBay. But, um, so I'll probably list them for 10 plus a little shipping. I don't know. Put them on so, Etsy too. And then like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. Cause it's 1985. Yeah. Put it because you might be able to get more. Like list them high, put them on Etsy. I'm both, you know what I mean? I know. I neglect <laughs> Etsy so much. I need to get busy with that. Yeah, I love my Etsy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what I'll do next. What do I have up next? I'm trying to save like something really good for the end. <laughs> okay, I bought a costume today. Um, Aisha in the green room put up a thread and said, what are you guys looking for when you're out today? And one of the things I was looking for was quick flip Halloween stuff. And so I picked up this costume, and it's hideous, ugly. It's called Morphs. It covers your whole body, and it's this crazy, creepy clown. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it is a clown. I didn't realize that earlier. I didn't see it on his body. Yeah, it's terrible, horrible, scary. <laughs> so his face, and the thing covers your whole head, and then, like, the back, the back finishes off the clown. It's so so, so his head's a clown, and his, his body's a clown face too, huh? Yeah, and then this is like weird, crazy clown mouth. Please like, tell me that's adult size. No, it's not. <laughs> Kids, the clown. Oh, my right. gosh. This is for age 10 to 12. That's just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so let me show you what it's, what it's going for. Let's see. I paid three bucks. Oh, wait. I need to screen share so you can actually see it. Here we go. Screen share. Kids the Clown. This is sold $25.92. Nice. Right? These are some other ones. Uh, I guess these are, yeah, but they're not the same exact one. Well, maybe it is. This looks like an adult one. Anyway, so I'm thinking at least like 20 bucks or so, right? That's pretty Yeah, good. definitely. I've never heard of a morph suit. No, it covers like, they can see through it and all that. Anyway, creepy. Creepy, very creepy. <laughs> hey, look, Angie M is in the chat. Where, where? Hey, Angie M. Oh, my gosh. There you are. <laughs> Angie, I got to talk to you. When I did the drawing for the Sophia, I thought Angie M was Angie Martin. And then I told the Angie Martin it was Angie Martin. And she said, no, it's Angie M. And so it's really you. So send me a message on Facebook because you won the Sophia bracelet. And it was totally my mistake that I called out Angie Martin and not just Angie M. Because I didn't. Yeah. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Your okay. turn. Um, what's my next one? Oh yes. Um, so I got this milk glass. It's like a taper candle holder and I collect the milk glass and I thought about keeping it for myself, but gosh, I just have so much of it. I've been collecting. Um, and it does have like a, um, a hallmark there on the very bottom. It's like a W and it looks like maybe like a sideways C or something. Mm. But, um, I looked it up. So it's called Westmoreland mm -hmm. and I didn't find one just like mine, but I'm thinking, um, to ask maybe 20 or 25 for it. I should put it on Etsy too. So bless you. God bless you. <laughs> I'm muted. But nobody, you're saying God bless you and they're all like, what is she talking about? <laughs> I was <laughs> muting myself to sneeze. <laughs> so that's a good idea. Yeah, Wiss Mordland. Good brand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Now what? Oh boy, my hair. Oh, what's next? Let's see, I did that already. Boy, this is going really fast. Okay, so let me show you something. We're going to end up keeping this. I picked up this game, Dragon Strike, and it's like, where is it? What was that? Do I want to know? Probably not. Anyway, it's a game like you try to get around the dragon's treasure before he gets you. It looks like so much fun. 
Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that'll be fun. My kids will like that. But And then I thought, it's one of those, oh, I better look it up because what if it's worth a ton of money? But it's not. It's worth, I won't even bother screen sharing for you. I see one sold for 99 cents with one bid. <laughs> I see, so well, one sold for eighteen ninety nine. That's not too bad. Another for three ninety nine twenty two. It's okay, you know, but they're kind of all over the place. What year was it made? That's a good question. We'll probably play it. And then if it's not that, uh, 2002, so it's not that old. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, it looks super fun. I think we're going to play it. Your turn. Okay. I got this really big glass paperweight, and I paid $2 for it. <laughs> and it's got these bubbles in it. It's all clear. So I looked up the solds on eBay, and I found one similar to it going for about $45. But it has this, like, uh, these little, like, is it, like, divots? Like, little, I don't know if the, if it's chipped or if I can clean that up. But um, I guess I'll just have to, you know, draw a line to it and show it in my listing. Right. But right. it's in pretty good condition. Yeah. So I'm hoping to get, you know, at least 45 for it. That's nice. I never think to look at paperweights. Yeah, I've never seen one quite this big. I mean, it's it's really big. Right? It looks like a crystal ball. Yes, yeah. I know everything. <laughs> read, the, <laughs> read it in the stones or whatever. <laughs> okay. All right, Jenny, Jenny says it would look cool in an aquarium. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Okay, my next, my next one I got this morning. I went to Jenny's garage sale. She's the one that cleans out the houses. And they are these Cloisonne butterfly hair combs. I love those. They're so pretty. Aren't they pretty? Um, and we were talking about how I always feel like Cloisonne ought to sell for better than it does. But these ones actually do okay. So the, they were a dollar. And I, f I found some that were almost exactly like them. Let me share. They're kind of all over the board. But I was encouraged that I found one that went for a decent price. <laughs> yeah. You got that butterfly working for you. Yes, so these these ones are very very similar, and they sold for twenty dollars. These are sold, but then, however, these ones sold for seven twenty two. Let's not look at this one for four twenty five because yeah. that's just not going to happen. Let's just go back to this one here. <laughs> that's at twenty dollars, um, because that's, that's probably what I I'm comfortable putting them at, and then I'll put them on Etsy as yeah. well. Nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. They might look cute <laughs> on me though. But anyway. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh oh, I better. I'm sharing the hand. Let me switch oh. up. Okay. Okay. I picked up this wine sign for 75 cents. It says wine is win with an E at the end. <laughs> so I thought this might be good for the booth. I'm going to put $14.99 on it. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Are your, sign, are your signs selling well for you at the booth? Uh, you know, I really don't know if I have a ton of signs. I don't think so. I don't think I have a whole lot. Did yours sell well? Mm, it was hit or miss. Some of them sat forever. Yeah. But I know Jen, Pudgy Picker, always, she says hers do really well. Yes, I remember that tip that she gave to be looking out for any kind of signs. Yeah, so maybe just the clientele or something. I don't know. All right. Well, you know, I take that back. I did sell one. It said something about uh, something about a grand dog. Oh, you know, like a grandma, but a grand dog or whatever. I guess like a grandbaby, grand dog. And that did sell. So Dog related ones. Yes. Jeff Davidson would like to know, how much time do you spend in this booth? I usually try to get out there uh, once a week. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty bad about oh, neglecting my booth when I was there. Yeah. And I'm not there long at all. Like I just go and drop it off. Sometimes I'll look around, but I spend more time pricing stuff and getting it ready than I do actually there, right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, I've got another somewhat dud, but that's okay. <laughs> I picked up this ring also at Jenny's, paid a dollar for it. It's a, it's copper and it's fossil brand um, ring. It's, I mean, I thought it was cute. I thought for a buck it would maybe yeah. be okay. So I cannot, you know, put it at you know, it won't go on Etsy because I don't fossil is not that old, you know. But I yeah. looked it up and it's really not going for so much. But maybe like a local garage sale site is where I'll I'll go with that. Um so here it is with a necklace it sold for nineteen ninety nine. And then this is a, a bracelet that's similar to it that went I mean I might still try to put ten bucks on it. I mean why not? I would put fourteen ninety nine on it. You think fourteen ninety nine? 
Oh yeah. Because then I, you know, if I did, like I said, if, if I did end up doing like nine ninety nine, I could at least get, you know, five or more dollars profit. But yeah, maybe I'll put fourteen ninety nine with best offer. Why not? Right. <laughs> okay. How many more items do you have? Um, I have wrote down three, but I do have extra stuff in here I can grab from this morning. <laughs> All okay. Right. So I picked up this Primal Cravings book and I paid a dollar for it and used FBA. It's going, I think, for like $22. So I was going to ask maybe about $19.99 or so. Cool. Uh, FBA. That looked good. Yeah, I know. I might have to flip through it. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm going to, I have at least two more things. I can always grab more, but I didn't look up much, much else. This is something I did not, also, I did not look up. This is, was a dollar, but it was, I really liked this a lot. This. Oh, that's beautiful. It? Hang on, let me click on me so it doesn't flip away. But it's not missing any stones, and it's, you know, it's got the big stones, but then it's got these little bitty stones throughout it as well, and then the chain. It doesn't have a maker's mark or anything, so, I mean, I'm probably going to put at least, at least $20 on it. I'm thinking. Yeah. Easily. You know. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to. I mean, and then the chain part is so unusual. I really like the chain. So I would go a little bit higher. You think so? Like $34.99? Yeah, that sounds good. It's really pretty. Wow. Yeah. You can't make a lot of money unless you ask for a lot of money. I know, right? And I'm <laughs> and I like asking for a lot of money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um all right, so I I got this. Uh, how do you say here? Mava, how do you say it? Mavado. It's a jewelry box. Mavado. Yeah, it sounds right. For twenty five cents, it's a watch. Empty watch. It's empty watch box. Mm. But um, when I take these to the jewelry guy down the street, he'll give you like ten dollars uh, per box. Like these little um, brands right here, like this. So. Either that, or I did look up the solds on eBay, and they're going anywhere from like fifteen to thirty dollars. And one time, I sold a Cartier uh, empty box for like seventy-five dollars, and I paid one dollar for it. Yeah. So that's awesome. the it, empty jewelry boxes don't pass those up, and they're usually pretty cheap. People put them out for really cheap because they think nobody. I mean, what are you going to do with them? Right. So, and you, you can, can sell them. them. I don't know. If, I, I wasn't sure if you could sell them on eBay or not. It's okay. Yeah. Sell them. Yeah, look up uh, Cartier. Am I saying it right? Cartier? Cartier? I don't know how to say it. Anyway, uh, jewelry box. Um, sold, completed, highest first. And you'll see. You can get some good money. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. I'm, I'm going to turn off the lights for my next one. Yes. We're going to get cozy. <laughs> Wait, cue the music. <laughs> it's not too dark. Well, it's not getting any darker. All right, so I picked this next item up for $5, and I wish that I'd had it at, at my thrift haul throwdown because it would have won like a mother. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. This is a Creepy Clown Academy plug-in thing, and it does work. I'm going to turn it on for you. I wish it was darker. Oh, my gosh, I love it. Yeah, lights up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, and it plays all this creepy music and yeah. Anyway, I love it. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, and this thing. This thing has like a volume control on it, so I can turn it up and down like really loud. Make it really creepy. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that wild? <laughs> so let me show you what I looked that up and it went for. Right? Wouldn't Jason love that? I would have won if I found that last time for our, our thrift haul throwdown. Yeah, you would have. Okay, so let me screen share for you what I found out about that one. Um, these are... Right. Yeah, these are solds, and so they're anywhere from twenty-five to fifty bucks on solds. I, you know, I'm going to shoot a video of it showing it's working, showing the volume, and I'm going to put it at fifty bucks. Yeah, I was going to say how many are available right now. It looks like those are recents that have sold, so yeah. people are probably looking for them right now. 
So here's, you know, quite a few up. And again, anywhere from, you know, in the tw like late 20s to 50 something, 60 something, you know. Yeah. So yeah, like this one's going for $69.99. But I'm going to shoot a video of it, you know, showing that it's working, showing all the volume, music, lights, everything. And it's going to be dark and spooky. Yes, your video will sell it for sure. So yeah, I'm going to put, maybe I'll put more than that on it, you know. Because I can show it working. Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> All right, what you got? Um, let's see. So I got another sunburst mirror. Oh, fun. $5. And I won't be selling it because I collect them. So it would be going on the wall that I have um, in the living room. I have a whole bunch of them. looks real pretty. So that's where those will be. Awesome. <laughs> And I don't have a, t I mean, I don't have a ton more that I had ready. I was going to show something I got for me. I showed it to you. <laughs> I got this at the Goodwill for $7, six ninety nine, And it's this I nice, love it. like really nice incline wallet. And yeah, I was just like, oh yeah, that's going to be for me. It zips open, holds on my stuff. Anyway, I was excited. I like how, right? I like how the hardware on there is gold. Yeah. You know, you see so much black and silver. You don't really see a lot of gold. It's so, really pretty. Sometimes you have to shop for yourself. Okay, you have any more? <laughs> yeah, I can talk about these little critters here I got. They're little, uh, I guess the little alligator salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. And the, let's see. Let's see. Here, are, they're marked, oops, Japan. But you know what? I looked on eBay, and they're not really going for that much. I was surprised. Maybe $10. You saw those exact ones? No, I didn't see some exactly like this. I think I saw some brown crocodiles, but not any green ones. I would um, go it, higher. What do you think? Yeah, I would go higher because I know me. Like I used to collect crocodiles and alligators, and I would have flipped for those. They're in really good condition. The only thing is they're missing the the cork. But you see that a lot with the vintage uh, salt and pepper shakers. Check on Etsy too and see what people are selling them for on Etsy. Yes, I need to look on Etsy. That's a good idea. Well, the thing is, like, here's my thing. Like, I did that video the other day sharing, like, how I do my research and on some of the jewel, on some of the bracelets that I did. And I know sometimes when I do my research and, and talk about that, people fuss at me because I'm not looking at eBay solds. But I'm like, okay, I get that, that eBay solds will tell you what recently things have sold for, but it's not the be all end all of how people are. You know what I mean? Like, that's true. So I, I look at that, and then I look at Google and what is up for sale, and I look at Etsy and see what is for sale, and then I just kind of take a roundabout number, you know, from those three places, um, because sometimes I think, you know, I sell myself short if I just look at eBay solds, because sometimes, you know how it is, people price their stuff, they don't know what it's worth, or they, you know what I mean? Like, right. well, they inflate it, but it's, I don't exactly. know, I like cross-section of everything. That's a good point. Person. I have to start doing that. Yeah. So you, may, I think you could get more than ten dollars for those personal. So you, what do you think? Like nineteen ninety nine? Yeah, I would put that with best offer, and then put them on Etsy too for sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Should I do the giveaway for the jewelry jar now? Yeah. One more. Okay. Are we ready? So I'm gonna do the spinning for the jewelry jar. I'm nervous. Why am I nervous? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I showed you, I'm going to screen share, I showed you the list, so I wrote all the names in here, and I took them over here to the random spinner and put them all in, so we're going to spin and see who wins, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Good luck. We need like a drum roll. <laughs> oh, I don't, do I have a drum roll sound? I probably do, but I can't find it right now. <laughs> here we go. Who's it going to be? Anita Hall! Yay! <laughs> so I think, oh, there we go. I think Anita's in the, in Eilat. I think, I really, I know that name. Yeah, okay, I know so that name too. I am, I am cutting it open and pouring it into the bag. Do you guys in the chat <laughs> think that's fair before I do this? I mean, that's a good idea, right? It's a good idea? Yeah, you don't want to ship that glass like that. Right, because what if something inside the jar makes the glass break, and then you're like picking out glass yeah that'd be a disaster <laughs> just as that's my alien. yeah I just saw that 
<laughs> I love you, Jeff. Thank you. You're so wonderful. <laughs> okay. Here goes. I'm going to pour it in here. And I'm trying not to look because I was saying I feel like smog. Don't don't look. Don't <laughs> look. As you're like, oh gosh, as soon as I as soon as I put it out there, I was like, what did I just do? <laughs> this was a really bad idea. And now my strawberry on my bracelet is is caught. Let's shake it first. Uh -oh. That's what Mary says. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna pour it. I'm pouring it in. The tape is sticking. Oh my gosh, don't look. Just don't look, Margaret. Something is stuck. Something is stuck in there. Oh, don't look. Oh, it's no. Okay, I'm gonna get that. It fell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's coming. Is that uh, one of the jars whenever we went shopping over in yes. Houston? Okay. What happened? Are you there? Did I mess it yeah. up? Oh gosh. Hang on. Something's popping up on my screen. Okay, what fell? I can, I can still see and hear you. Okay, good. Hang on. An earring fell. Let me grab it. Okay, I'm not looking at it. I'm just not looking at it. Okay, so now it's all in the bag. Okay, and I'm going to seal it up. <laughs> there. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure <laughs> that I, you know, I didn't want to break it, you know. Okay, as long as everybody's, okay, who won again? <laughs> I need a haul. I need a haul. That's right. I don't think she's in the chat today. Well, I'll, I'll, we'll take over an eye lot and see if she's an eye lot. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And I guess because we had this problem, not with Angie, but I was telling um, Tanya that I did another giveaway a while back for some like little Monster High minifigs and, and ended up giving away a few lots, you know, and two of the people that won never contacted me. And I just, I messaged them and I never heard anything back. So I'm like, okay, what do I give it? Like a week? Like if you don't <laughs> get back to me, what is that? Yeah. If you don't get back to me in like a week, I'm gonna have to draw another name. Okay, yeah, and I, I have to tell you, those jewelry jars had a lot of silver in them. They're the ones that we picked up in Houston. Yeah. Margaret got a couple, and I got a couple too, and um, they had some good stuff in there. Yeah, yeah, these ones for sure. Like that one was silver, and the mate is in there. I saw it, so I gotta stop looking at it. <laughs> Put it in the flat, the padded flat rate right now. Seal it. <laughs> I'm going to go get it. Do I have time? Should I go get it? I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll be good. I'm, I'm not going to get into that. There we go. It'll be okay. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's it for me on my end. How about you? Yeah, that's it. Anything? I know. I was looking there. there. I'm like, <laughs> hands off. Um, do you have any news or updates coming up that you want to share before we get off? Um... I don't. I put it out a DIY video today. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, and it's just something I'm experimenting with. I mean, my YouTube channel is mainly for reseller stuff, but I'm human. I like to have fun. I like to change it up and do fun things too. So, um, yeah, just for fun. I was telling, yeah, I was telling Margaret this morning that crafting is like therapeutic for me. So I really enjoy it, and it's yeah. fun to share. I agree. Yeah. So cool. And then October. Oh boy, I don't have my calendar in front of me. Jason's gonna get me. It's coming in October. The next thrift haul throwdown. Um, and I'm going to have to share that in the in the high lot. Yeah. <laughs> did you get the date yet? I did, and I want to say October fifth. Did you get the list? Second? No, I don't have a list yet. So it's coming. I'll have to put the for sure date because I don't have my calendar. I can't remember which day was the Saturday or Sunday or whatever day it was. Sunday. It was a Sunday. That's right. Oh, boy. Okay. So that's I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. The last one was so much fun. And I don't know that I'll win this time. Because <laughs> I hear that, that, that Nick Garces is very he's, – he's a force to be reckoned with. Oh, really? I know. He's the bolus. Well, so is Margaret Collier. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Jeff says, if I had a happy planner, I would know. I have a planner. It's not a happy planner, but I have one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I, I'm probably going to do a haul over the rest of my stuff later to share this week. And, and that's pretty much it because I got some other cool stuff. Just haven't had a chance to share it. Some we're keeping. Some we're selling. Anyway. All right. Is that it? That's it. That's it. Okay. And, and then I was thinking about it because it, it, it was really – 
awesome to do a jewelry giveaway because we do hear in the group a lot that a lot of people can't find the jewelry jars, you know. And I actually had, I can't remember the lady's name, somebody messaged me and said, hey, if you find jewelry jars, I'll buy it from you and you can send it to me, you know. And I was like, that's a, you know, a nice idea. It's good, I, you know. But then we, we, that was the day we had to cancel because my mom called, so I couldn't oh, yeah. find any, you know. Um, but I thought, I thought, oh, you know what? I'll do this again maybe when I hit 10,000 subscribers. That sounds good. I know it's a ways off, right? Because I'm at 6,000 now, so that's like 4,000 more people. But then I wouldn't be so, you know, I don't have to give out my jars so quick. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, okay. So that's the plan. Right. That's in my brain what I'm thinking of doing. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. And be on the lookout for more videos about reselling and stuff. And I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye.